Hello, everybody. I'm Matthew Brown. I'm Brandon Murphy. And I'm Fletcher Williams. And welcome back to another version of A Few Good Movies. Today, we continue our, vi- our journey on WandaVision. It's going to be episode three. Of course, Fletcher, as you see, is with us yet again. He will be with us the whole ride. It's going to be a good one. Before we get started, though, let's do the fun stuff. Go ahead and like, comment, even though we're only 10 seconds in. Comment something. Subscribe. <laughs> Share with somebody, all right? Do what you got to do. Do anything to help us. It means the world to us. Don't forget, we'll plug Fletcher in later, too, but make sure you like and comment and subscribe to his, his channel as well. Okay, though, I think that's enough talking out of me. Let's get to it, fellas. That's right. We are talking episode three of WandaVision titled Now in Color. Um, once again, directed by Matt Shackman. And uh, this was a this is an interesting one, guys. I mean, I feel like we're finally getting into like what the show is actually going to be about. And like, it's getting a little more plotty, but it's still so out there for the most part. And I'm still really enjoying that. Um, and once again, I think what's good about the show so far is that I really could not tell you what the hell's going on for the most part. Um, like it's so trippy in a lot of ways too, which is fun. Like I felt like the shit with like the stork and everything. And this was like, always like, I would just like, is really crazy. And I mean, it's a, it, it's a fun one. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I think um, this might be my favorite one so far. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was like a great episode, though. And a lot of that is because the 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 sitcom gimmick thing didn't quite work as well in this yeah. one in the last two, at least in my opinion. It was just like, I mean, I really like seeing how they make it look and feel exactly like a mid-century sitcom. They do an amazing job with that. And like the production design, the laugh track, the sound, all that stuff, like top-notch um, technical work. However, I don't know, the jokes in this one just weren't funny. Like, I kept having to, like, force myself yeah. to laugh. Like, it just it just didn't really, like, grab me there. Yeah. But I did really like, um, towards the end of the episode, when we finally got to know a little bit more about what was going on. It seemed like there's some Truman Show dynamic stuff going on where mm-hmm. people are, like, in another reality and they're all pretending to create this world for Wanda and Vision maybe. And um, yeah. I guess we're going to see more of that in the future, but yeah. yeah. So it was a good episode, not a great one, but probably the best one so far. Mm-hmm. See, I think it kind of stinks because I feel like, I think the first two episodes were pretty like genuinely funny. I really like, but I feel like this one, it's big joke for the most part. Like, and they just keep going back to it. It's like, how, look how bad our jokes are. And it's like, yeah, those are bad. <laughs> uh, I don't like those. Um, I wish they were funnier. Uh, could we could we not do this anymore? Like, we, I, I hope we can get back. Like, there last year and there, like, I remember specifically um, when they, like, flash over to that, like, blonde lady's house. And she asked, like, do these earrings make me look fat? And the lights go off and the guy's just like, thank God. Like, that shit had me laughing. That was funny, yeah. <laughs> that was funny as hell. Like, that's some good shit right there. But I, I agree with you. I think... Um, the like sitcom kind of pastiche that they're going for worked a lot more in the first two. Cause I still think probably if I'm picking a favorite out of these first three, I'd probably go probably episode two. I really liked episode two a lot. I think like we were talking about last week, like I love the just Paul Bettany really cutting loose in that one and really going for it. Like um, in that full on crazy comedy routine that he did. I feel like this one is just like, and I think it's a thing with TV shows in general. I hate the pregnancy season of any TV show that happens. And I feel like every sitcom has it. And like, I just had to like, guys, we're already doing the pregnancy thing. And I know it's going to like have a bigger meaning, like when the show is over and like we get what the show is, but I just like, oh, great. We're doing like the sitcom episode where like, she's having the baby. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm screaming. And oh my gosh, all this crazy stuff is going on. I'm just like, yeah. That's that's I guess that's what we're doing. This is fine. I've seen this before. Um, Let me ask you guys something. Uh, do you think because those first two episodes, like I said, there really wasn't too much plot. It was more of just like this fun sort of sitcom mm-hmm. feel. I feel like in this episode, more than the first two, they started to reveal a little bit more of like like I said, the actual plot. Do you mm-hmm. think that is what maybe takes away from the sitcom aspect because now it's like 
okay, you know, it doesn't feel like a sitcom anymore. It feels like, like I said, yeah. Truman-esque at this point. That was kind of the reason, at least for me, that I, those, the things that you guys are saying about the sitcom not working, that was at least what resonated with me. I'm curious what your guys' thoughts is on that. I can kind of see that being the case okay. a little bit because I think what we kept on hammering last week was that the fact, like, it felt like it was about nothing, really. Right. Exactly. But it was literally just like, it's a superhero show that like doesn't give a shit that it's a superhero show and it's mm -hmm. just like yeah we don't want to do any of that we just want to like have these two people be like really charming and have like a good time for like a little bit and this one felt more like getting back to kind of that superhero show which i mean obviously that's what we're sitting down to watch like that's what we're, we're here for but also like um it lost a little bit of its edge this week for me personally but i'm excited to see as more stuff is revealed and like as we move forward like kind of mm -hmm. i might come back to the episode and be like oh okay here's what they're doing with it and like i'm gonna like it a lot more as time goes on okay but i feel like it might be like a like once we get the full picture of this show yeah it might we might look at some of these earlier episodes differently but sure. for me i i love the sitcom thing when they're doing a good job with it like the first episode i thought the sitcom thing worked the best. I, I just mm -hmm. thought the jokes were pretty funny and I just, I liked what they were going for. Mm -hmm. But with, with this one, I mean, I want, I wanted to like the sitcom vibe, but like, it's just like the writing wasn't that good. Like it just wasn't that clever to me. And um, yeah. so the stuff that was really interesting about this episode was when they were getting away from that and revealing more about what was going on underneath the surface. So I thought that was where like a lot of the, the meat of this episode was in. Okay. Mm. Do you think the color has anything to affect it? Like psychologically? Like, do you think mm. it, it, you can disagree with me, but I, yeah. for some reason I found myself being pulled out of the sitcom part of it also because like, okay, you know, it's in color the whole time. So now it feels like we're at a 2021 show or something. Maybe that was just me. What do you guys think? I don't think it really had that much of an effect for me because I still think it has that whole like, um, just the way their house looks and like all the costumes and everything. And the fact that it's still, they're still trying to emulate the look of like a 60s, 70s sitcom with like mm -hmm. how just there's all that film grain there yeah. and um, the way it's lit and everything like that. Like I still think visually, I still think the show is like working in the way that it needs to. Um, it's just, I'm not sure. Like, and maybe this is the fact that like the first two episodes, they were so much about, or not even just about, but like, they were so focused on Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany, like really giving these super charming performances together, like as a couple and everything. And I feel like this episode got away from that. And I feel like that might be a bit of the problem for me. Like, I think the moments when they're there together and it like gets emotional, like I think those work um, and stuff like that. But I just feel like I wanted a little more of that, like kind of charm that they had in the first two episodes. Yeah, I agree. Um, going back to your question, Matthew, the colored thing, I think, um, I don't think that really took me out of the sitcom vibe. Cause like, it seems like with every episode, they're like doing like a tribute to specific shows. Like the first one was really reminiscent of I love Lucy. And then the next one was like bewitched. And then this one was kind of like Brady bunch. And you could tell by like the way they did the theme. Yeah. But so like, I feel like that's like the goal, like they're trying to pay an homage to like all these different sitcoms throughout history so mm -hmm. now we're like moved on from the black and white phase and now we're into the color phase so i just i feel like it went with the the vibe that they're going for with the show okay yeah. um yeah it's uh i guess we can kind of get into the plot a little bit because obviously the big thing in this episode is that they're that wanda and vision are having having a baby um and like i like kind of like the first like five ten minutes where they're just like kind of going through it i think the look paul bettany has in this episode is killer like the hair he's got going the suit he has on he looks fantastic um and like i like kind of some of the weirdest stuff that's going on in the episode where um like there's the neighbor who just is just like cutting through the brick <laughs> like near the hedges he's just like oh it looks like i have like that's just like, like thanks and he just goes farther down <laughs> yeah for sure um yeah i feel like uh kind of with those first two episodes like i i don't know if there's like that much talk like they just like they have a baby in this episode for the most part and like we kind of get like a little more reveal like the um 
Geraldine character obviously has like a lot more to do with the show and she's gonna like kind of involved in this organization like with Wanda asking like what is that symbol like where'd you get that like obviously that must mean like something to her maybe I don't know but um and I don't know also it feels like these are the worst people like trying to keep this uh secret under wraps because like there's the fucking because I don't know if these people are people or not or if they're simulations or if there's robots like they're the fuck could be the um what the life model decoys that T- Tony Stark talked about in the first Avenger that they're just like all around okay. and stuff, everything like that but like you know there's the whole sequence where like the neighbor and Catherine Hunter like talking like don't tell him about the thing like when Paul Bentley can literally like hear them right near shot I'm like what's going on here if these guys are like spies they're really bad at being spies right now like i don't know it's a little strange like and once again we don't know if these people are like helping wanda or trying to hurt wanda or what's going on so i'm uh, very interested to see kind of like how this all unfolds i'm getting the idea that a lot of people are a lot of people are saying that um people are doing this to wanda but I get the vibe that it could be Wanda creating this reality for herself Good. because um, I remember like, I think it was the second episode where that like beekeeper guy came up out of the, the sewer hole and she said no. And then like it rewinded. So she could have been in control of that maybe. And then also with this episode, you had her talking to Geraldine, like when she reminded her of Ultron and then suddenly like in the next scene, she was like, like banished from the reality and like you saw yeah. her like in like the real world or something so maybe wanda could have done that because she's trying to like create this own reality for herself and yeah. she doesn't want other people like reminding her of the truth and that yeah. that also would explain why vision is there because maybe she wanted to just like hang out with vision and like be with him mm-hmm. in like a, their own reality or something so i feel like that might be what's going on that's just a theory that i have yeah and i mean it, it would make sense as to why in this episode earlier when um vision starts trying to catch on like i think there's something wrong here and then literally like it changes within a split second like no we can't have that we can't have them questioning like the reality and everything yeah. like that and like what's going on so i mean yeah i mean it would make sense if wanda is trying to get back to some kind of like normalcy after what happened she wants to like spend time with vision she wants to have just have a normal life or whatever like she'd pick like a sitcom like world to do it in where it's like everything's wrapped up in 30 minutes everything's perfect like they have their kids within like a day or two like they already have like the happy family and everything going on um yeah i mean it could be the barf thing too that tony stark created like oh, okay. he, she could be living in that um i don't know there's a lot of possibilities um so it's a uh, i mean it's comic books too i mean they could they could just pull something out and be like, nah, she's like strapped to, to a chair somewhere and like this is all going on in her head. Like, who knows? Um, but we're just along for the ride right now, which is which is fun. Like, as much as this episode like kind of wasn't my flavor for a lot of it, like I'm still very excited to see what's going to be happening over the next little bit here. I got uh, super intrigued by what happened at the end, especially as, you know, someone who's not very familiar with the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. To see her get shot out at the end and all these, like, I don't know, like CIA guys or whatever you want to call them to come up and like shine this light on her. And you see, they've got this, all these lights set up of like, whatever, Mm -hmm. whatever that dome universe is, they've got it like under, you know, surveillance. And so that piqued my interest a lot. Like I was even telling you just from some of the things that were happening, all of a sudden I found myself wanting to go watch the age of Ultron because I wanted to learn more about Ultron now because I was, I'm like, wait, what's going on here? This is, Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of as like i said a new fan i've got a lot of unanswered questions that Mm -hmm. the end of this episode piqued my interest and definitely nonetheless is like i can't wait to see what happens next week now Mm -hmm. i mean age of ultron is definitely one of the foundational kind of texts for like kind of understanding like where wanda and vision are coming from because like wanda vision um wanda's brother pietro and Ultron all come from like the same thing essentially like they're all made from that one infinity stone so they're all connected in a really interesting way okay um like 
it, it so that'd be like probably a good one to watch before all this because wh- which ones have you seen i know you you told me you've seen iron man and like about it that's about it <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> there. it's like iron man one two and three and it, it falls off after that it's uh Fair. yeah because i was so anti-marvel at one point in my life because we're not that's a, that's for another day i mean that's the thing i feel like i have when seen you, guardians of the galaxy too i've seen the original guardians of the galaxy good movie big fan of that movie um but yeah i mean that's the kind of thing like uh I feel like if you're into movies and around a certain age, like when you're in like high school or like college and like, especially now, like everyone kind of picked a side and it's like, it's either you love them or you hate them kind of deal. Like I have like other friends who were just like, I fucking can't stand them. I don't want to go see these movies with you. Like, even though I text them every single time, like, Hey, you want to go see fucking Ant-Man with me? And they're like, no, please God. Don't ever ask me that question again. No, I don't want to go see Ant Man with you. It's like, okay, Paul Rudd. Right. Yeah, I fucking Ant Man's good. I think it's really fun. I think both those movies are like very underrated. They're like two of the more fun movies in that universe for me, honestly. But there's just like little superhero heist movies, which are fun. And Paul Rudd is just a very charming person in general. Yeah, Paul Rudd's great. He's right. the best. Yeah, dude. R.I.P. I love you, man. Episode. No, I knew you were gonna. Ugh. You got you got to shout it out. Lost files, folks. The lost, lost episodes. Files. <laughs> the lost episodes will never live them down. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> oh gosh. How many lost episodes are there? Uh there's like two or three, I feel like. Oh, there was, there was there's five. Bull Durham. There's Bull I Love Durham, You Man. Which, we had a skit for Bull Durham even shot, dude. We, we did all kinds of shit. Dang. We, we, had, we had some fun stuff. We lost I Love You Man, and there was one more. Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips. No, I thought oh we didn't put Captain Phillips out, did we? Didn't make it. No. Yep. Y'all recorded all those and then lost them? Like, what happened? So, so we were yeah. shooting, uh, at the time, we were shooting on my camera. It's a Panasonic GH5, which we were shooting in 4K. And I don't know if you've ever tried to edit two hours of 4K footage on a laptop, but it didn't work. And so I would get all the footage up there, and I would get it even cut up. And then I would try to export it, and it would crash. And then I would try again, and it would crash. Or I forget one of the times I uploaded, like, I think the Bull Durham one, I went to upload and then I deleted it on my computer because I needed space and then it didn't upload properly onto YouTube and it was already erased from my computer. So I was like, dude, I don't have it. Like, we, don't, we can't re-upload it again. We, oh, man, I, I pulled my hair out a few times on those few episodes. Brandon, yeah. saw me, he saw me break down physically and mentally, man. It was so bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to get this podcast going, dude. This sucks. I mean, it was that whole, like, I feel like I'm fucking 15 years old again. I don't know how to upload these videos to YouTube anymore. I'm so losing it. Bad. It was bad. Brandon yeah. called a, a very, uh, was a, a very raw side of me, for sure. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, listen, it, uh, here's the thing. It, it gave us room to, like, get into a vibe, though. Like, those can be the lost episodes where we just, like, got, like the vibe of the show down a little sure. bit at least, but like I am upset we lost the Bull Durham one. That that one stung. We had a skit. That's why the Bull yeah. Durham one means so much to me. We're not even talking like, about this the, the WandaVision yeah. point. But yeah, dude, we had a we had oh man, it was so oh yeah. Yeah. Like I love you, man. I could lose. Like that's fine. I feel like that one was like kind of that wasn't one of our best sure, i feel sure. like it wasn't the end of the world on that one because here, here's the thing trying to talk about comedies is proving to be like one of the hardest things to do because mm-hmm. it's just like that thing that happened that was funny and you're like yeah that was funny i agree with that <laughs> and it's just like yeah, what do we do for like yeah um captain phillips one stinks losing because we did like our whole t- hanks discussion like we had a big old thing with hanks the world will never know except me and you but this man right here, Brendan Murphy, yeah. actually said, I, I kid you not, before they gave him this, he said, if there was an award for being like America's father, they should give it to Tom Hanks. And America's they actually Hanks. came out and gave him an award. And I'm telling you, this man said it before it happened. <laughs> oh, whoa. Awesome, dude. I wish we had that on tape. Oh, man, he predicted the future. I mean, listen, it's, it's not hard to predict. Everybody fucking loved Tom Hanks. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like Tom Hanks? I've never met a person who doesn't like Tom Hanks. Yeah, you're so wrong with you if you don't like Tom Hanks. I agree with that. It's just like you're not gonna like this like very wholesome guy who's just like 
is a really good actor. He's very like charming and like he's in a lot of good movies. Although it, you, you see some garbage takes on Twitter. Like I think somebody like a week or two goes like, Tom Hanks has never been in a great movie. I was like, uh, you're dumb, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can name 10 of them right now, but okay, yeah, it's whatever. What the hell? I'm gonna um, address that. Yeah, don't, don't, we don't need to go down that rabbit hole. But um, the last episodes, man, someday right. we'll have to, gosh. But um, WandaVision. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a, uh, I don't I feel like it, I feel like I just don't have too much to say about this one because it's we're still in this phase of just like what the hell is happening um and especially since it wasn't an episode I liked a, liked a ton like I just feel like it's not like I don't have a lot to add to like the conversation like I'm just like I'm kind of sitting here just waiting I want to see what happens in the next week or two so I can like kind of like really understand like what's happening yeah I agree I think like you know, we got that little bit at the end, but other than that, I don't feel like we really moved that much forward this week. No. There's not like this big piece of evidence. Yeah. Where I was like, oh, we got to talk about this. That doesn't, I don't really feel like we yeah. got this week. Which is fine because yeah. the first two episodes kind of had that, but yeah. I was chill because I love the vibe of it so much. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I lost a little bit of that this week, which is a little sad, but like, we'll, we'll move past it. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, those two leads are still very good. I just feel like we lost a lot by not having more of the, like, side characters in there. Like, we barely got any Catherine Hahn this week, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, so, you know, it's just, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next week. I'm just kind of, uh, we're, we're waiting around right now. We're kind of twiddling thumbs, trying to figure out what's going on with Wanda and Vision. And um, whether she's trapped or, like, she's voluntarily doing this to maybe, like, find a way to bring back Vision, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. For sure. Um, but yeah. Yeah. If they continue the whole sitcom thing like they're doing, I just I hope the writing is better than it was this week. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm still really excited to see what they do with it. And it does seem like the kind of show where once we get to like the last couple episodes, we'll we'll look at the whole thing in a different way. But I don't 100%. know. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a. I mean, I'm guessing probably there's going to be much more of a, like a kind of. 80s 90s sitcom like kind of like family sitcom kind of deal which um which will be fun like kind of more maybe even like i don't know like because i was like maybe fresh print something like that like little like kind of deal full house action or something yeah full house action is probably like exactly what it's gonna do um but yeah it's uh it's um i still like it i'm just uh tr like trying to figure out like what's going on i think we were talking about the this um, last week, but I think this is why it's good that it's like week to week. Because if I just like, if I watch the first three episodes all the way together and like this kind of this, I'd probably like watch this one and be like, oh, and then like kind of put it down for a while and then maybe never never get back to it since it's always there. But like now that I have like the scheduled like, okay, this week this today the new Wandavision dropped. I'm gonna watch that real quick. Like, now it feels it feels like a lot more manageable to kind of like get in. So. 100%. It's just me. Um, I don't know. Any, anything else you guys feel like you want to add? Anything like that? Um, can't think of anything. Yeah, hmm. I'm, I'm good as well. I think, uh, like you said, not too much more was added. So I, yeah. I, think, I think we're good. Like I, wanted good. To do a, uh, I wanted to do a Seinfeld episode. That'd be cool. That'd be I'd be fun. down the Seinfeld episode. Just yeah. like, see, that's the thing. Like, what would be the, uh, the thing that Vision just gets like really anal about? Just like the one little thing. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find out. Or I hope he goes Kramer esque. Is, or is it Kramer? Uh, where he's yeah, like slamming into the doors and stuff, just coming in all wild and stuff. I need that from from. I was about to say, I want Paul Bettany doing a full on Kramer. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. awesome. I think you could pull it off. See, but like I need a <laughs> I need a Costanza in there. Costanza's the man. You always need a Costanza in there. You have to have. I mean, just like, I don't know who oh, it would yeah. be, but like that's a, I mean that's kind of what vision does a little bit already like there's the whole bit in civil war where like all he does he just like walks through the doors and he doesn't knock and he's just like i can just go through why would i knock on the door i don't need to use these anymore yeah. like that's not a problem for me yeah um i mean he literally does like he runs a man like from house to house on his back like i feel like that's something kramer would do maybe <laughs> i don't know like so yeah it's a uh, i'm just to see like like you were saying like it feels like each episode is kind of emulating a certain sitcom. So I'm really interested to see like what next week will be. Um, 
And just like, how much longer we do the sitcom thing? Because uh, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see them do like kind of something in the vein of like a um, little more modern, like not specifically like the modern family thing, but like kind of um, more how sitcoms are done today a little bit. So I'd be interested to see kind of what they're doing. But yeah, uh, Matthew, you got anything? Nope, I guess we'll just see what happens next week. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what's kind of, like, I'd love to talk more about it and like get into it, but I just feel like we, we still have so little information Definitely. to like really delve into. Um, but hopefully next, next week we'll have like a little more revealed and we can get into some more like the nitty gritty of it. Um, but yeah, so if that's, if that's all we got, then uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Fletch, for being on again this week. Super Thanks happy to have you for sure. Um, Fletch, you want to do your plugs real quick? Yeah, so I got a YouTube channel of my own, which you can check out. I talk about everything, movies, video games, TV, all that kind of stuff. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading a review of Season 1 of Servant, the Apple TV Plus show. Really excited to talk about it. I just finished it recently. So, um, yeah, you can check that out at YouTube.com slash Fletcher Williams. Heck yeah, dude. I'm excited that you finished Servant so you can go get lassoed in the next little bit here. Because, yes, I'm definitely gonna be watching Ted Lasso. So. Oh, oh man, I love Ted Lasso, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, like I feel because I any other year we would have done our like top five or top ten movies of 2020, but like I feel like I couldn't do that this year. Like I feel yeah. like I just wouldn't be able to like if I put out a list and be like, here's the ten movies I actually saw this year, <laughs> and that's it. But like I was just thinking, like maybe I just do something where it's like, here's my favorite things like or like pieces of art that i experienced this year because like and i probably like ted lasso would probably be up there for me like i i fell in love with ted lasso and i'm so happy i think production started up again recently for season two so oh, like yeah. I, i'm hyped um yeah. and i know for me personally if I, I might as well like number one i think you might agree with me this but like last of us part two is probably like favorite thing like I, oh yeah that's i, I did like, talk about that in my uh best games of the year video <laughs> it's, it's the best it's so good Right. Um, but yeah, so check out Fletch and all of his YouTube videos, all that good stuff. Um, we'll have all the links down in the description. I'll have a link here, probably in the, like a little corner up here. You can click if you want to go check out his channel. Um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe on our channel. We'd love to hear what you thought of this week's episode of WandaVision. Um, and uh, follow us on our Instagram and Twitter. We will have those also in the description. All those links and good stuff. And we will see you guys next. Well, oh, hold up. I, I want to tease. We got the tenant episode. It's in the can. It's ready. It's dropping. Coming. Next Tuesday. We're ready. Oh, Monday. Drops on Monday. Monday. Okay. We're dropping it Monday. So get ready. Um, we're about to pull a little temporal pincer movement. We're ready. We're <laughs> for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it was the day that Trump left office, and uh, I, I celebrated a little too early. And then we did tenant. So like that, look out for that. It's it's <laughs> got a real chaotic energy. It's a fun one. So stay stay on the lookout for that. If you want some genuine Brendan, you go ahead and tune into tenant. There's a lot of me just like screaming. It's great. It's fantastic. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. You you need to watch it. <laughs> it's 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 appointment viewing. Um, get ready. But so we've got that. Um, obviously we we're going to be continuing our coverage of Wandavision every Friday here on the few good movies channel. Um, so I think that's it. And we will see you guys next time on a few good movies. See you.